Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second video of the night. Three middle-aged dudes just bullshitting about nothing going on in our Geek Week in Review. This is the Reverend. This is the theme here. I mean, Grey Mouse 1. And we are actually going to revisit an old topic from uh, last week. Uh, earlier last week, there was a, uh, a, a rumor uh, made by, uh, that was published on Kotaku through the guys over there at Eurogamer.net about uh, Sony putting out a brand new PlayStation uh, 4.5, that's what they dubbed it, um, where basically it was going to be a full, it was going to be a dedicated 4K gaming console that was going to be kind of like a mid-generation refresh of the of the hardware, and not just one where it was like they're making things smaller and sleeker and cheaper to, to go ahead and produce, because that, that's just how a lot of the generations happen to go whenever they do their um, their hardware refreshes. Uh, so far, Eurogamer has actually talked to a lot of other folks. And they've confirmed through multiple sources that there is indeed a PlayStation prototype out there uh, based on 4K gaming. In fact, the, the prototype itself is called the PlayStation 4K. I hope that and prototype is better than a fucking Coleco Chameleon. <laughs> it, no, it actually exists. <laughs> it doesn't exist. That, what? Did they just put a PS3 in there? And then just yeah no but the, the, this is actually uh, according to uh, from what they said according to developers that they've they've had that have actually worked with the prototype so well this uh, won't be com backwards compatible with PS3 games no uh, <laughs> I don't think so yeah and the PS4 is a backwards that will be the PS3. only thing <clears throat> that some people will actually be concerned for I mean for 4K gaming. Well, I mean, on for 4K TVs and shit like that. It's like, oh god, they could have thought about this ahead of time. Well, the the problem with 4K gaming right now, and uh, let's see here, there's a a, a big the actually is 4K gaming. Well, not no. The the problem with 4K gaming right now is that it, it's it's really hardware intensive. All right. Um, if if you want to sit there, you you actually want to want to play something that full 4K, uh, full 60 frames per second or above, you're gonna you're gonna be shelling out anywhere from 400 to 800 dollars out for uh, a dedicated set of cards to go ahead and do that. All right, even on in the PC world, all right, if you're trying to game in 4K, the problem with a lot of a lot of uh, games that are out there that say that they're capable of being played in 4K. A lot of them aren't SLI or multi-video card compatible, okay? Which, for the, the techno junkies out there who, who are running multi-card setups on, on their PCs, that's, you know, that's leaving a lot of them out there pretty much, they're left out in the wind holding their dicks saying, why the fuck did I put this together? Work, work, goddamn you, work. All right. What am I supposed to do with this? Yeah, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I'll beat your brains out with this. <laughs> You know, yeah, so, um, yeah. what's your input about this, Grey Mouse? I have no I, 4K gaming. You know, graphics is not everything for me. It never look has. Look at graphics, look at graphics, look at graphics. Um, I mean, I don't care if it's in 1080, 70K, or 70p, or 900p. It don't matter to me. It, it really doesn't. But there are those out there that, that people care about this stuff. <coughs> well, uh, I can attest, um, now that I do have the, 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 the newer, really nice TV, I can attest that, yeah, <laughs> there is a difference. Hey, we watched that wax Super Bowl on that big TV. Yeah, yeah. TV's yeah. great. Super Bowl sucked. Yep. So it was great. Let, let's Super put that in the perspective. Sucked. Let's put that in the perspective of game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the shit will look great, but if the game still suck. No. And, and the the thing about 4K gaming, and I can I can attest to this firsthand, is that it's so freaking hardware intensive. It's 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 a hog, all right. Because if you sit there and you think about it, all right, the the jump from 480p to 1080p, all right, if you're just counting pits, pixels, is like 18 times right the fucking, uh, the fucking data. Okay, the jump from from 480p to uh, for to 4K is like over almost 2,000 times the amount of data that has to be pushed. Okay, so there's a lot of things 
the the amount of horsepower that that you need to push 4K gaming at, at full at full clip, 100 excuse me, 60 frames per second is absurd right now. Oh, yeah. it, is, it is really absurd. The thing with the four uh, the PlayStation 4K is that you don't have anything that fits into that small fucking box that's going to sit there and give you you know full feature dedicated 4k all right and that's one of the things that uh, uh the article on, at eurogamer uh goes ahead and covers it, it it says hey look there are new processors that are out there they can make smaller chips that are much more powerful and that's available right now amd they they made out like bandits you know providing customized oh, yeah. chips to the the first party publishers there's a reason why they went ahead and they signed up for Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo. All of them want customizable chips, AMD chips, all right? Part of it is that, you know what, NVIDIA, well, you know, I, I see a lot of people out there, a lot, a lot of folks who are tech savvy saying, so, well, why could they go ahead and use NVIDIA processors? It's because NVIDIA has a history of suing you as a first-party fucking developer, all right, if they're part of your fucking console. They almost tanked the Xbox launch, the original Xbox launch, because they didn't want the console to sell at $399. They wanted to sell at $699. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. There were there was a while there that for actually a good three to six months before launch that a lot of a lot of uh, retailers were like, we're not sure if we're actually gonna get our Xboxes. Because NVIDIA went ahead and actually decided to open suit against Microsoft. And can, can you can, can you really tell the difference between a 900p and a 1080p and a 4k p I mean, can, the, I don't yes. Have to, yes. I mean, I understand that there's more intricate um, details on the things that are presented up on the screen the game and it depends on the fucking <clears throat> Yeah. Well, here's 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 there are some TVs that are not capable to do 1080, especially the smaller TVs, even though it may say you can render it, but it's the TV. Some TVs are technically still not fucking capable. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you know how much power it takes to push a 60 frames per second at, at 4K resolution. That you're just thinking about that, you know, I mean, that's a lot of power there. It's got to be, you know, it's, it's not something that, like, I mean, you have to really <coughs> in computer to do that. Well, not only that, but it also it also matters on your uh, on the size of the of the screen that you're watching and the distance that you're looking from. All right. Well, so anything under inches, you're not gonna you can't yeah, really. I mean, well. here, here's the, the thing: the TV, the further away you have to be, a lot of people don't understand that shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, look, when I got when I decided to go ahead and get a 4K TV, there wasn't any. There was no possible way I was gonna get anything smaller than 60 inches. Okay. No doubt. I, all right. When I first got my when I first got my old TV, all right, uh, my 1080p TV, there wasn't any possible way I was going to get anything smaller than 42. Okay, yeah. that's just how it is. All right, mm -hmm. and the thing is, is that the farther away you sit back from it, you know, the less detail that you're going to be able to see because that's just the nature of the human eye. All mm -hmm. right, um, you know, 4K is great if you've got a big enough display and you're sitting in a sweet spot. Then you could you could appreciate a lot of things, all right. Um, but the one thing that kills me is that you know folks are sitting there, they're going out of their way, they're spending like exorbitant amounts of money for 4K fucking monitors that are 26 inches big. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? I understand you're going to be able to tell the difference because you're only sitting 24 inches away, but fuck, <laughs> at a 26 inch fucking screen, dude. Really, 1080 or 1050 is fine. Four, 14, 1400p, all right, if you want to sit there and do something higher than that. But um, let's be realistic here, all right? <laughs> realistic? In this day and age, shit. You're like, asking way too much. That's out the window. Yeah. Like, well, the, the one thing that I... I, I, I throw it out the window, they think it can fly. <clears throat> like, we, we just had a... You know, Apple just held a, a product event a few, like a week ago, all right? And people were like, wait, they're, they're making the iPhone smaller again. Why would they do that? And it was like, 
Dude, you're asking for a 4K Retina fucking display on a four inch screen. Are, are you just planning on having it burn fucking battery in less than eight hours? Yeah. I'm expecting, you know? Yeah. iPhone, huh? Yeah. Yes. Does the I stand for ISIS? So the question, the question I got here is um, to, get back on topic, <laughs> to get back on topic. <laughs> Um, with, with the um, uh, the PlayStation uh, 4K, um, so that again they got to be real careful how they're doing this because again you know they don't want to split their user base you know I mean there are there going to be games that only come out for the uh, PlayStation 4K we versus that last week and it's like you know I mean uh, companies got to be really you know Sony Microsoft Nintendo they got to be really careful when they when they upgrade mid um, generation, I mean, because sure, because fanboys will still be all over it. Oh yeah, I'm not saying they won't be, but you know, it, it, I just feel that it's really, I don't know, man. Sony just needs to be careful. That's all I gotta say. Well, trust me, I understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, they know damn well sheep will follow and they will empty their fucking wallets for it. Well, they don't want to create. They want. They don't want to create a situation where they start splitting their own market share. Okay, and no. that's exactly what happened with Sega back when they started at doing add-ons to the, 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 the Sega Genesis. Yeah, well, look, at, you know? look at what the Nintendo DS and the 3DS is doing. Are there are there enough games for the new 3DS? Yeah, actually, yeah. No, I mean, it's already taking over. No, if if you take into account all of the games that use uh use the Circle Pad Pro add-on, now that it's built onto the new 3DS, yeah, there are, there are lots of games that that support that. Okay, absolutely. You know, but now, if you want to go the other way, like the new 3DS, there's only, I only know one game. Like I said last week, I only know one game that actually that that, that actually uses the new 3DS for the, the Xenogear Chronicles, which I own a copy of because I'm. But yes. like you said, as far as like I said, as far as the games that use the Circle Pad Pro, now you don't need that unsightly fucking add-on to 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 your uh, your your DS XL, your 3DS XL. All right, because the the C stick is built into the into the, the actual uh, the yeah. system now. You know, so yeah, there's a lot of games that support it. All right, um, the now as far as as far as you know, the other things that I, I thought that they were going to be able to do with with it, unfortunately, I think a lot of those plans, as far as Nintendo's uh, Nintendo's example, is, is kind of up in limbo, especially with the NX just around the corner. All right, which is another thing we can touch on it in a little bit. All right, but the um, the like I said last week, the difference between. The, the PlayStation 4K and the, the new 3DS is that the new 3DS doesn't cost any more than the old 3DS. No. All right. And, and as a matter of fact, they'll make the old 3DS cheaper yep. to compensate. Yeah, yep. usually by about 30 to 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. I think but a lot of the, the old 3DS is dropped down. Wait, the for the uh, PS um, 4K, is there a price set? Uh, let's see here. As far as. It's going to be more expensive, just for the nature of the 4K. It, it really is. Is it going to be the same shape, size? Is it going to be slimmer? No. What's probably going to happen is that they're probably there's probably going to be a little bit of of a form factor change. Uh, don't, don't buy that shit at Walmart. They'll put a normal PS4 in there. <laughs> I mean, or some rocks. <laughs> I mean, no. But um, what's, what's really looking like the uh, what's, what's what's looking to be the case with it, with it is that you're gonna have uh, newer chipsets which are coming out from AMD, which uh, are actually doing processors, video and uh, GPUs and CPUs on a smaller die uh, instead of 28 nanometers. I believe they're down to 14 and 16 nanometers, mm -hmm. so they can they can theoretically do a processor. That's half the size physically, but will output twice as much work. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah. that's theoretically. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. The, oh. problem with, the problem with that, though, is that when you're putting out twice as much work, uh, regardless of the size, you're creating that much more heat. Okay. Heat. And if you have a small little box like the PlayStation Four, 
I mean, even for something bigger like I don't know the original, the original fucking Xbox. All right, something that big. You've got a lot of heat sitting there on the board right next to the power and everything, and mm-hmm. that will that will burn shit up. All you gotta do is have a good heat sink, and you're good to go. Uh, not really, not really. That's the thing. Uh, you know, if you don't have enough space inside there for for circulation to uh-huh. air air to circulate around it. Having a big big heat sink means that okay, yeah, you've got that there, but it, it won't dissipate. Well, right. see, the, thing, the thing is, though, we knew this was coming, especially with the PlayStation. You know, go back to this PlayStation VR. It, it the, the PlayStation VR pretty much opened that door that they're going to want 4K. Um, I mean, that, that was like we mentioned last week. That was definitely we knew this was coming. So to me, I'm not surprised. <clears throat> it's something that I knew was coming. And now the only thing to look for is, is it going to be more expensive? And how are they going to, are they going to split their, um, their, Game you know, library? consumer base, you know? Well, I, if they're not going to split their library up, let's say all the games for the regular PS4 will work on a PlayStation 4K. Oh, it will. No, no, no. I have a problem. Then motherfuckers will be returning their PS4s. And well, I, I have no doubt. The PS4K. Yeah. Sony would be really stupid if if the Sony place or the PlayStation Four games don't play on the PlayStation Four. Oh, 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 really? Okay. I mean, uh, we're talking about a company, a uh, video game console company that's that's not a video game company. No, I know. I mean, I don't. That's I, not. Put, yeah. What what I'm saying is, let's not put it past them to do stupid shit. Yeah, I mean, here's a here's the thing. I I mean, there's there's a bunch of things that <laughs> consumers. Say it again. Say it again. Right now. <laughs> no, that would be suicidal, dude. I mean, that would um, be dumb, but still, you can't put it past them. They just don't oh do any shit. That would be suicidal, man. You know, and that's that's the reason why you know, as consumers, we got to sit there and pay attention to this. All right, because yeah. the thing is, is that. You know, Not just get excited and just throw wallets and monies and credit cards to shit. No, you got to look at all of this and make sure the shit makes sense before you spend your money on it. But the thing, too, is the only people that would be buying this, this PlayStation 4K would be people with 4K TVs. Well, would actually, them. you'd be surprised. People will do no. this before they get the 4K TV. Yeah. At yeah. times. No, no, I understand. There will be those um, people out there, or they're saving up for it right now. Christmas. Well, yeah. And this is tax season still. Christmas, man, yeah. motherfuckers will get up money. And like yeah. I say, motherfuckers will go to certain places because they're going to be throwing out old inventory, throwing out old inventory, getting rid of old inventory to get the new stuff in, like old 4K TVs to get the new 4K TVs. That will be the time that people will actually get 4K TVs with a Sony PlayStation 4K. That, that. Yeah. Or what if Sony, I mean, I don't think that anybody or Sony would do this, but what if they include their TVs with the Sony PlayStation 4K? Uh, Maybe there'll be a freaking bundle like that, <coughs> some type of speaker surround sound system for ultra rich. <coughs> so, you know, I mean, which, actually, you know, it's funny right that, that, uh, Best Buy, I remember a few years ago with the the PlayStation 3 was selling Blu-ray home video packages where they were saying that, hey, look, if you buy this top of line fucking TV, uh, we'll include uh, or we'll go ahead and we'll give you a deal on, on a PS3 for like a, a, a highly discounted price. So we're going to like knock like 100 or 150 bucks off of it. If you bought it along with the TV. Another question that, uh, what about the Blu-ray player that's inside? That's that's not, probably not going to change much, mm-hmm. all right? Uh, you're still going to have to go ahead and uh, install everything, all right? Uh, but, but what I'm saying, like I t- tried to touch on a little bit earlier, sorry to interrupt, this will be the perfect time, I'm not sure if they would do it because it will probably be expensive as fuck, to make this backwards compatible for PS3 games. Yeah, you know, the silly thing about that is that, okay. The architecture is different. They can't do it. Understood. But no, this, is, they, this will remedy that shit. 
Well, the, the problem is, is like what the Reverend was saying, um, I think they're not going to be smaller. I think they're going to be larger. I think they're going to have to change the whole uh, <clears throat> aesthetics of the PlayStation 4 to add, you know, just like uh, Reverend was saying, you know, even though the chip is small, but it's going to create a lot of heat that's on that board, sitting on that board all the time. They're going to have to make, compensate that with fans or uh, heat sinks. So I think they're going to. I think the the PlayStation Fours are going to be larger instead of smaller. It's funny that's, because you know damn well the first two hundred thousand are going to be like broken down. Red that's, to death. that's all theoretical. If they go with a full power, like like I said, theoretically they could go ahead. They could make a chip half the size. It's twice as powerful. Okay. Are they going to do that? Uh, if you're if you're talking about uh, cost efficiency and trying to keep this down under five hundred bucks, no, they're not. Okay, what they're going to do is that they're going to go ahead, and they're going to they're going to make them smaller, but instead of making them twice as uh, twice as powerful, they're going to go ahead and they're they're going to provide something that's a generation later in functionality. Okay, as far as what's inside there. All right, that way they're really kind of splitting the difference between price point, heat in performance all right because it doesn't matter if it's the right price point all right if look if it returns to a point where the where the ps4 is you can be used as a fucking space heater like the original playstation 3 <laughs> no i don't want to fucking do that all right if it's like it's going to set my fucking wooden entertainment center on fire because <laughs> you know, he said no. space heater no that's those things could be used as space heaters, all right? Oh. Because they had two different fucking boards and all those chips running at the same time, okay? Oh, yeah. and, and that was the one thing about the original, the original PS3s. If you remember the original display kiosk for the PS3s, they used to be fully enclosed in fucking glass, right? Yeah. Where it was fully sealed and everything, all right? I remember working in, like I said, I, I, I remember seeing those at, at, at EB, I saw them, they were on, connected up to the TVs, and they would be on, and they were like that for about a week, and then afterwards, they weren't on anymore. You know why? Because they burned up inside the fucking display cases, okay? Mm -hmm. It wasn't until Sony sent out brand new fucking kiosks with big-ass fucking vents cut in them, all right, that they actually started putting those things on again, okay? Even then, they didn't run them for very fucking long because it would burn up. Well, one thing, too, is like when the PlayStation 4 was launched, I mean, if you got the original, you know, on launch day, uh, people were complaining that they sounded like jet engines when it first came on. Yeah, because it's they're they're trying to go ahead and fucking push that error in order to keep those. Yeah, and, and is it, so I'm curious. I mean, I, like I said, you know, this is not a, a full-blown 4K um, ordeal, but, you know, they're, they're just gonna, I don't know, they're gonna have to find a happy medium between the price, the heat sink, and you know, because you know, people are going to be running those things 24 7. You know, yeah, no, they're gonna be on all the time. Here, yeah. Here's my input with that though a happy medium with price, that's not gonna happen because oh, yeah, the chip <clears throat> costs money. Yeah, new technology costs money, it, it, it does. Here's, here's another thing, too how long of a lifespan is the PS4 going to have? Is it only going to be for like three more years? Well, that's what people are saying that the, this generation here uh, with, Microsoft and X, with Microsoft and Sony, it's only going to be about a six year. It's not going to be like uh, uh, the well, seventh it generation. Might be, it might be Microsoft's last. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that way with PC, man. Jeez. Ugh. We already did our topic. We already, we already said last week, all right, the, Pretty much the the one thing that that we know that uh, we know for sure that they want to go ahead and push because this is the way that the market is going is that they want to be able to push a competent 4K or not even 4K a competent virtual reality offering uh, to everybody. Okay, like I said, the current PS4 doesn't have the fucking horsepower in order to to push a competent 1080p 60 frames per second fucking VR. Uh, Offering okay, so, Sony, Sony has already went out of their way to admit that their offering the the uh, the PlayStation VR isn't going to be the most capable in comparison to the Vive or Oculus. All right, 
but they can't they can't sit there and, and sit on their laurels in order to just sit there and say, well, you know, if you want to settle with what sucks, which is the PSVR. Well, I mean, don't you, have to, push, don't you, you know? have to push like uh, uh, 60 uh, frames per second for both eyes? I mean, it's like 120. A, yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. It has to oscillate off. On and off, all right. So that's the reason why if it's only if it's only sixty frames, you can you could see this you can see this happen if you're playing um, any of the games on uh, on fucking the 3ds. Actually, if you have Street Fighter for the Street Fighter Four for the 3ds, mm -hmm. don't have the the 3D on. It runs at a full sixty fucking frames. All right. The moment you turn it on, it drops it down to thirty. But that's because it's oscillating the, the two pictures back and forth. Yeah. All right. And that's what creates the 3D effect. Okay. So you've got this separation of two different images that are basically turning on and off really rapidly. And the way that your eye perceives it is, okay, yeah. this, is, this has 3D depth. It has stereo depth. And it's moving at whatever fucking displayed, uh, displayed frame rate. All right. Which is 30. Once you go ahead and turn that on. Because... Like I said, if 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 you if you want sixty, you're you're not running sixty on your on your refresh rate. You've got to, you've got to run one hundred twenty hertz. All right, one hundred twenty frames per second. And it's just that the PlayStation Four at this, this iteration of it, there's no way it could push something like that. Well, even, even the I, I even say even the PlayStation Four K, I really don't think it could. You know, you're, you're going <laughs> to probably have to wait until PlayStation Five comes out or whatever. Well, and look, if they're, if they're only wanting to go ahead and, and do their VR at 1080p or even 900p, all right, the boosted hardware horsepower will help, okay? Oh, no, no doubt. Because at, at least they're going to be able to sit there and run it closer to 60 frames, all right? Um, right now, basically, they've, they've pretty much, uh, you know, Sony is pretty much, like I said, they've said that, hey, our offering isn't going to be as robust as the Vive or the Oculus Rift, okay? Now, they can either go ahead and sit on their laurels and say, like I said, they can sit there and say, hey, if you want to, if you want to VR it on the PS4, you just do it knowing that it's going to be the worst fucking experience out of all the VR experiences out there. But you know or what? They can attempt to remedy that. But you know what? When it comes to stuff like that, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the games. Yeah. At the um, end of the day, regardless of how much specs advantage, you know, how much advantages that the other ones have. If their games are not good, then they're not going to be up to par. If the PlayStation VR <clears throat> and the PlayStation 4K comes out with these great fucking games miraculously compared to all the others that are coming out, then it's not going to make a difference how powerful the other ones are. It's yeah. like, like, all right, this has better games and that just has power. That, that's not shit. Yeah, and I, I think I think the one thing that Sony has over everybody else, except for maybe PC as a platform, is that they've got they've got access to more developers than any other any other platform. All right, that's that's just the truth. Okay, third parties love love Sony. All right, um, they're not playing ball with with Microsoft because well, Microsoft doesn't have the numbers that they had before. Okay, yeah. they're not playing ball with Nintendo because guess what? Nintendo doesn't have the numbers like they had before. And yeah, you got Microsoft issuing apologies for shit they shouldn't. I mean, it's it's not even that, you know. No, I just had to throw that in there. Because uh, the the thing that chased off a lot of a lot of third party publishers from Microsoft is the things that they didn't want to apologize for back in two thousand fucking thirteen. Mm -hmm. All right. I was just about to iterate with that too. Yeah, um, you know that they, they didn't apologize for. Wanted to really fuck yeah, they're apologizing for the wrong shit. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the shit that didn't fuck with gamers, they're oh, I'm sorry, but the shit that did fuck with gamers, oh, just deal with it. Just deal with it until until they noticed that nobody was buying their shit. No, that, uh, was, that, was, that was my point. You know, on the other video that I made about the social justice warriors. I'm like, <clears> wait a minute, you got these motherfuckers that's not buying your games and you're catering to them, but when it was the fact that you got motherfuckers that were gonna buy your shit and you're just saying, oh, fuck you, deal with it. Deal with the shit that we just going to push in front of you. It's like, fuck, do you, do you understand who are your customers? Who's going to benefit? Who's going to buy your shit? 
it, it's just it's just totally fucking backwards. But as far as the um, Sony PlayStation 4K, 4K. I'm kind of wondering, are they going to expand their? They'll probably come out with terabyte hard drives. I'm pretty sure. Two oh, terabyte yeah. maybe, but what, but look at what the reference said. Bands, the power that it's going to use. It's just gonna. Man, yeah. I mean, you could you could sit there, you could you could find two terabyte mobile drives and throw that in. Uh, you could also find you know really expensive solid state drives in, in a three point excuse me two point five factor and, and throw those in. Now, do you want to go ahead and spend that much money uh, on expanding the the storage for for a PS4? Uh, that that's up to you. Okay. See that, wait, the, that's one of the meaningful things about this. The price, all of that shit together, is going to just eat up bank accounts. Well, what, what's really checks. what's really killing me now is the you know, like I said before, with the Xbox One and the PlayStation Four, it is just having to load your games onto the hard drive. I understand it's faster that way, but you need to make a bigger hard drive. It, it, it's just, I think it's. And, and again, you know, this is a whole conversation about digital media, and I mean, it, we've talked about this before, but I, I don't know, man. I, personally, I don't like the way we're going, where we're going. I hope it, you know, I like to have the physical media. Hey, now, wait a minute. You know, physical media, uh, I, damn it. I wish that people would wake up. As far as that, physical media I mean, will always be king. Well, the thing I is, agree, but a lot of millennials don't think that way. It's but, not not even just millennials. It's just yeah, it's just old guys who are running out with, with shelf space. You know, well, well that's the thing about it. certain people that you know want convenience as far as you know having less to deal with, but they don't understand that it will be more of a hindrance down the road. Yeah. It, I, I just, I don't know. But for PlayStation 4K, I just hope that it's got to be cost efficient. <laughs> it has to be cost effective. I don't think it's going to be. With all the shit that you're going to need, the, the TV, the, the new PlayStation 4, the games, the VR, all that shit's going to fucking add up. And at the end of the day, it's going to be if the games are good or not. People are like, it's going to be 50 games for it. I don't give a fuck. If those 50 games slurp, then they're not going to be fucking worth it. I don't give a damn. Look, well, you can they, play say, it in the they say 50 fun. games. They say 50 games, but maybe five of them will be good. But this is, here's another thing, too. The control will be wrong. Maybe the PlayStation VR won't be calibrated correctly. What the <laughs> fuck is about it? What, you're going to have that thing on. Why the fuck do I need a big-ass TV at that point? I'm wearing shit over my fucking head. This is arcane well, shit. Why the fuck is a, a for everybody else necessary for everybody else not playing the game? They could watch you play the game on their. Fuck like that. That's like okay with the Wii U. You have the touchpad. You turn that motherfucking TV off, and you can still fucking play it. Is the PlayStation VR going to be capable of that? Wait, I'm going to have to have my TV on in order to play this. Why? Nobody knows. Yeah. Actually, with the VR, if 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 you're using the VR as as a display, that's what that's what you're going to be going ahead and using as as navigation and everything. Okay? Yeah, that's going to cool. be your head. That's going to be your heads up display. If you do play it on a on, on an additional display for purpose of like video capture or or like I said, uh, if people other people are there, then yeah, they can go ahead. And they can watch what's going on. Um, but you're only going to be playing one-player games for the VR. I mean, okay, wait. Pretty for much. two players and three players, are you going to bring on VR? How? Is it going to be split screen on the TV? You got a question. How stupid would you look in a room full of people with you having that VR over your eyes and you're doing all this? I mean, and now, wait a minute. I remember when I walked in to friends playing the first – Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game, and they looked like grown up man children because all four of these fuckers were standing. Just, <laughs> and I'm watching them for five minutes and I'm trying not to laugh, and I'm like, I understand. If they're having fun, looking stupid will not. Wait, what's this with the Wii? Same thing. Again, we both. All if that, they're yeah. having fun, that does not matter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, you're, you're there were friends anyway, and your interest in doing the same shit. It's not like you're outside doing this. 
Yep. Oh, and and at that time you shouldn't give a fuck about what anybody says about you anyway. You're having fun. That's it. Uh, like I said, like I always used to tell people, you know, if somebody's gonna say something about it, that's one of those type of things that deserves the standard response, which is, are you fucking me? Nope. Are you fucking me? Are you hey, fucking me? You're not my wife. You're not my girl. Whatever. Yeah. You're not paying my bills. If, you don't like to get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. If if the answer to that is no on both accounts, I don't no. even fuck what you're saying. Really. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, so with this uh, PlayStation 4.5, or I'm sorry, 4K. 4K um, now. So they're they're asking Sony again is asking for us to open up our wallets. Um, when are they not asking that? Well, yeah. what, what gaming system is not asking that? But you know, yeah, just it. I'm I'm really surprised that that to be honest with you that Microsoft hasn't even said any you know anything about upgrading their hardware. I mean, they're too busy uh, apologizing to S uh, SJW. That's why. <laughs> You're right about that. Yeah. I and, mean, it's and and having AIs that's saying shit on Twitter. <laughs> that was hilarious. That's yeah. fun. That was more apologies to SJWs. Um, all right. With that, you know, like I said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's it's pretty much confirmed. There's going to be a new PlayStation Four out called the PlayStation Four K. Uh, Might as well wait for the PS Five. Uh, or, or in the meantime, at least keep your eyes on this particular channel. You know, in fact, do us even better. Hit subscribe below. Make comments, upvote, downvote, whatever. We're here. We, we want some feedback. All right. Uh, once again, want to know if you're going to buy it or not. Yeah. Or, or if it's something that, if it's even on your radar. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, in, until then, you know, we're going to make more videos. All right. With that, this is the Reverend. This is the theme here. And this is Grey Mouse One. Once again, for the benefits of common sense, logic, and gaming, credits. <laughs>